Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory out on that field. It's Melvin Gordon's Chargers going up against Deion Lewis's Patriots. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we are about an hour's drive southwest of downtown Boston in the area known as Patriot Place, Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with Phillip Rivers and the now Los Angeles Chargers. Hi again, folks. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And as we all know, Charles, offenses today, they're driven by the passing attack. But Larry highlighted in the open a couple of running backs who might just disagree with that assessment. Yeah, and sometimes, occasionally, you get a game where running backs will match each other, kind of carry for carry on opposite teams. But for the most part, they focus on themselves. How many touches will they get? And can they create big plays for their own team? And both of these guys, certainly more than five, 10 touchbacks. They're workhorses. Here's the kicker, Nick Novak, to get us started. And we are underway in Foxborough. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25 yard line. Tom Brady helped lead New England over the New York Jets this last week in an AFC East battle. And now he brings the Patriots back onto the field. Actually, that win last week. Broke the record for the most career regular season wins with 187 for Tom Brady. Yeah, previously tied with Peyton Manning and Brett Favre. But even before he set this record, he already held the record for most wins as a starting quarterback when you added in postseason and obviously those Super Bowls. Yeah, we've documented it before. Tom Brady's pretty good, isn't he? The answer to that is <laughs> yes. Brady now on first down. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. He was the cover guy for Madden in 2016, but I don't think Gronk saw that as being his highlight for the year. What did he have, 25 catches yeah, for 25. the season? Only eight games went down for good right before Thanksgiving. You know he wants to be back with a vengeance in 2017. for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is White on the screen. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Fresh set of downs here. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And he'll get this across midfield to the 48. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down.
Brady to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. The intended receiver there, Allen, and it's third and short. Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. To me, the identity of the New England Patriots on offense is that they have no identity. They don't lean to the run. They don't lean to the pass. They just game plan each and every week for what they think is going to be most effective. And how does it turn out for them? One of the most balanced teams in the league, and they're usually way up there in the stats. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. In his fifth year from La Tech, here's the lefty Ryan Allen to punt it. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So the L.A. Chargers offense comes out, led by Phillip Rivers. They got a win last week against Oakland. Very good game, and Phillip Rivers drove his team down the field on that final drive to set up the game-winning field goal. How about L.A.? How about those Chargers? We have won two in a row now. And they did it in patented Phillip Rivers style this past week, as you mentioned, driving them down late and setting up a 32-yard game-winning field goal by Nick Novak. That change at kicker has paid dividends already for the Chargers. Rivers now to throw on first down. Completes it to Benjamin. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. In 2016, the Chargers were ranked 14th overall in offense. They're only 26th in rushing. But that's not because they couldn't run the football. In fact, Melvin Gordon ran it pretty well at times. Overall, though, this is a pass-first team led by their quarterback, Phillip Rivers. They finished eighth in the league in throwing the football. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And they'll get him down here at the 23. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Last time out for Melvin in that Chargers win, 150 yards from scrimmage, two touchdowns. Earlier this season, Melvin Gordon was telling the Los Angeles Chargers coaching staff, I'm not getting enough touches. You're not using me enough. And I don't think it was coming from a selfish place. It was coming from a place of wanting to win games and wanting to have an effect on those games he was playing. Well, he's certainly doing that now, isn't he? 150 yards from scrimmage, two touchdowns, season-high nine catches, and a whole lot of fantasy points as well. They go play action here on first down, and it's complete to Antonio Gates. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there to charge your first down. Do you get the sense, Brandon, that people are trying to retire Antonio Gates? They keep thinking this is almost the end of the line, and then he keeps making catches like the one we just saw there. He's the old reliable, you're right, just one of nine players in the NFL with 100 or more touchdowns. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now a play fake here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Second down, they'll run with Gordon. Nifty move by Gordon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. 
We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? and 10 rivers it's caught on the right side williams a gain of six there on first i don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early we expected that they told us they were going to come out firing but four for four on the opening drive they like that <laughs> they don't just like it they love it because now everyone gets locked in your confidence jumps up everyone's easy about what they're doing out there and by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Rivers toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? A first down throw here for Rivers. He's going to wind up and air it out. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. See the New England starting defense now. A defense that had been struggling, haven't they? Another 300-yard game given up to a passer, this time to McCown this last week. Yeah, Josh McCown and the Jets would have 354 in yeah. that game, but as you mentioned, six straight games they've given up over 300 yards passing. Not what you would expect from a New England Patriots defense, but somehow they've managed to fashion together a 4-2 and two record, and you fully expect that defense to find a way to improve before this year's over. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. So that'll back him up five. Still second down. Fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. <laughs> Throw left side complete. It's Gordon. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20 yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing. They're going to get shredded, as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here in this first series. Gordon, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now the first carry for Brandon Oliver. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Set, 
Rivers on third and two. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Hunter Henry, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Novak out now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Well, before this next offensive drive gets going, you know, we still have two 0-6 teams in the NFL, the 49ers and the Browns, and you're looking at me because I, I know you made a prediction that <laughs> one of these two teams would win this past week. Yeah, we had the Giants in there going into it as well, right? We had the Giants, 49ers, and Browns, and I predicted that the Browns would be the first to get off the schneid. Instead, it was the Giants. So the Browns looking at me with a little crooked eye, aren't they? <laughs> like, hey, just leave us alone and let us play. Don't make any more predictions, man. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Time quickly to look at the Chargers defense. In 2016, the Chargers defense had its moments. They were ranked 10th against the run. Overall, total defense, though, they were 16th because they struggled a little bit against the pass, but they had a number of injuries, and they expect those guys back this year and expect to be an improved unit overall. Here we go with second and seven. Again, it's Lewis. He takes this for three to the 29. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. From the gun on third down, Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Well, we got a second here before this next drive starts. It seems like every week we're talking injuries, and we had three quarterback shoulder injuries from this last week. Yeah, and it's really unfortunate because we're talking about some of the most recognizable players in the league. Jameis Winston really coming on as a young quarterback. Trevor Simeon, captain of the Denver Broncos, and won the job for a second year in a row. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers may be the best quarterback in the league. 
You know, Rodgers probably gone for the season. Winston, I think they could have brought him back, but they were cautious with him and kept him out of the game. And Simeon did play in the second half in their loss to the Giants. Yeah, that's the good news. Two of the three able to return. Unfortunately for Rodgers, not looking so good. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Second down following the run. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Out of his end zone, Rivers. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he is going to have the first down as he gets this up to his own 11. They get nine there, and in the process, escaping their end zone, picking up a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now Gordon on first down. And some room to work. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon had a first-round grade on Hunter Henry coming out of Arkansas for his ability to get downfield and create openings, create space, and he proved his worth as a rookie tight end in 2016. 34 catches, led all rookie tight ends in the league. They go play action, Rivers. Across the formation, he's got a man, that's Allen. 23 yards on the play. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. The Chargers are on top and will return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. And here comes play number six on this drive. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. 
They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. This officially a 55-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty. But there is a danger to getting them started, isn't there? Yeah, with that low drive, you've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air, because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy. Gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field and try and get up and get it. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. Oh, what a move. And he's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They try again with Lewis, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now a play fake, Brady. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time, and that'll bring up second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know? <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Throwing again, Brady. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Last year, the Chargers 5-11, so you wouldn't think that they would be tied for the league lead in interceptions, but they were, Charles, with 18. And now they just need their offense, if they're going to do that again in 2017, to take advantage of and put more points on the board. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Following the interception here, Rivers out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Second down, Rivers. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. of a yard and it'll be second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed of the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL, those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Rivers now. Open man, it's Allen. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Play action, Rivers. And his throw here is incomplete. 
He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Second down following the incompletion. To throw again. Rivers throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Melvin Gordon there, and it's third down. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanking it. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down, take the completion, keep moving. The Chargers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and ten. They'll throw again. Rivers. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Lawrence Guy coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they went with a the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So another long try for three and another kick that comes up lacking. Yeah, this isn't going to do any wonders for his field goal percentage. But you have to figure as a head coach that when you send a guy out there to try and kick from that distance, it's a 50-50 proposition at best. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. All right, try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Sets up the screen to Lewis. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. is Lewis and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40 18 big yards on that one and a New England first down tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him there they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through I think if he comes back to the huddle he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble This is Lewis, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Hey, hey, we got 
Here's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be third down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Throwing is Brady on third down. And that is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And now they call on Steven Goskowski. His career long, 57 yards, set just a year ago. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Melvin Gordon now, he and the offense, they trot back out there. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. First down, Rivers. Gates has it over the middle. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Rivers now on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. To throw is Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a Charger first. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. But not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Throwing again, Rivers on second and 10. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations, I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage, to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack.
So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Play fake, Rivers. Shakes off the sack. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. I know that's something people say you have to live with with Phillip Rivers as your quarterback. 52 interceptions over the last three seasons. But remember, he's been dealing with a depleted wide receiver core. Yeah, that's very true. But those 52 interceptions over the last three seasons you mentioned, most in the NFL. Let's discuss Deion Lewis as he gets set to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. A reminder coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before that. Ten yards still left on second down. Brady to throw on second down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Illegal touching. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On third down just one for five to this point this is third and ten throwing now is Brady and Dwayne Allen on the ground and he gets this one all the way up to the 40 a good pick up there of 20 yards on first down Brady and a dump off to White. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a gain of seven, and it'll make it second down. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Brady. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. 23 yards on the play. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it a routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. Going on first down is Brady. 
And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Second down now after the pass completion. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. It's lining up first and ten. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. This is caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the two-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Last year, Hogan tied for the NFL lead at 17.9 yards per catch. Didn't quite get that many there, but still a nice hookup. And I don't want to overplay as the cross background, but it does bear some mentioning here. Those rushes that they make towards the goal, I think that equates into some of his pass patterns, too. as he stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Brady. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And it's third and five. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB... I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Brady now on third and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. There's still time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now.
Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it ends with a New England touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he'll get this one up to the 26. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a tie ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. As we look at the numbers, the only thing that really matters is that we've got a tie game. We'll have another half here to figure out who can come out on top. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Chargers with the ball midway through the first. It's Rivers looking for and finding his young tight end, Hunter Henry. And he kept off the long drive with the TD. Chargers is on second and seven as they get out to a 7 nothing lead. Rivers is going to find his mark. Now to late in the first half. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 42-yard line. Chargers would later miss the field goal try. Still a little time left on the clock. Brady's on target here, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The Patriots tied up at seven. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to Foxborough for the start of the second half. Okay, thank you, Larry. A low-scoring affair, all even, as we ready for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Gets past one man. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. 
They'll strike the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And just like that, it's third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. The Chargers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's Drew Kayser now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. <laughs> well, he'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and the Patriots take over. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run it now out of the gun. Shifts past him at the 45. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Now Lewis. 
Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. From midfield, here's Brady. This is caught, it's Cooks. Pass the 20. And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was a nice pickup, some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there, a little run after catch, and it came on a crossing route. I can just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. So the chain gang now done for the drive ball on the 10 first and goal. Here's Gillisley. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Now Brady throwing on second down. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at a third and goal here. Working from the gun, it's Brady. That almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. it through and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So he missed a field goal earlier but he says not this time and he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker a chance to redeem yourself. You gotta have a short memory if you're gonna survive at this level and he's able to get back on track. Koski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Ready. 
On first and ten, Rivers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And fans, a quick reminder from the NFL, after nearly a decade of working together in the fight against breast cancer, this year the NFL and the American Cancer Society, they're broadening the scope of their efforts to tackle multiple types of cancer. And you can learn more about the expanded Crucial Catch initiative and access the Defender, a new digital tool that provides personalized tips on reducing your cancer risk at NFL.com slash Crucial Catch. And I applaud the NFL for broadening its, its scope here because cancer affects us all in many different ways and now everyone will have the ones that they can focus on and be able to support actually love the run right there this guy's known for his quickness but also for his speed and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking always talk about slot receivers and they're usually known as quicker than fast in this case we've got a guy who's quick and fast and he used it to great advantage and a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Rivers now to throw on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, Charles, to switch gears, I know we've both seen what the NFL has done the last decade or so for breast cancer and the research and raising all the money and awareness. They're broadening the scope this year with the American Cancer Society with the Crucial Catch Initiative, and I think they're doing a really good job. I love what they've done with that because cancer affects just about everyone in our society, but it's all different types. So it's not just breast cancer, which we've done such a great job, and the league has done such a great job of illuminating over the years, but now they're saying, hey, a lot of people affected by many different forms of cancer, so they all, do, all have a color associated with them as well. So you're seeing a rainbow of colors that people are now saying, hey, let's, let's bring a little more light to this cause as well. And for more on the Crucial Catch initiative, you can go to NFL.com slash Crucial Catch. And now a first down following that long game. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. So the offense looking at a second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time, and it's third down. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Now, movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Ball start, offense. That's going to set them back five yards. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun, Rivers. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage.
Here's Drew Kayser now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything <laughs> out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. And that'll set them back five. Shotgun now for Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. Gronkowski's going to go. 20, 10, and he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 80 yards. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds big 87. in the red zone this time. They come out here in the eye. Now Brady. They shakes him off. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Deion Lewis, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the die. Always a fan of the die. The point after try for Goskowski. It's good to make it 17 7. Scoring summary three play drive, and it ends with a Deion Lewis touchdown run.
Goskowski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Phillip Rivers now gears up to take the offense back out there. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question is, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your court? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Throwing, Rivers. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So the offense has it first and 10. A first down throw here for Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Now it's a bootleg with Rivers. And it's complete. Henry. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They just got that playoff. Now Rivers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Throwing again, Rivers on second and ten. And this one is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third down. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. You gotta be able to lose your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. The Chargers on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and 10. <laughs> to the air again here, Rivers. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, and certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down.
On uh, now, Kayser, the punter, sending it away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. First and ten, here's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Brady to throw on second down. For the sideline, that's taken in by Allen. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. New England on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is White on the screen. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. Hold him. Offense. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he's on to punt for New England. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. on first down and right side Henry's got it and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line a gain of six there on first this possession means so much for them they've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game yes. gotta get a score yeah so good with a field goal don't necessarily need a touchdown 
So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. From the gun, Rivers complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They go play action here on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is knocked down from the side. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is caught at the eight. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. again his pass caught at the four nice job defensively to hold him to four and now it's second and goal I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective what's that that's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball he broke the first tackle luckily enough there were more people there to get him down and on the outside they're playing press coverage They'll throw again. Rivers. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Hunter Henry, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. No back out now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Danny Amendola, that was the intended target, and it's second down. Fake the handoff. Now Brady. Rush coming, and he's taken down. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you face an intentional grounding call. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Corey Legion in there to drop him, and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Here's Ryan Allen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Spin. Balance. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see. Second and nine. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Kyle Van Noy. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Play action. Rivers. Gets 
it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. He got 29 yards that time. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Rivers now to throw on first down. It's hauled in here by Edmund. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now, movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Shotgun, it's Rivers. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. As if he didn't have enough to think about on that route, the comeback route, coming back to the football and catching it, decided to make sure he toe-tapped and kept himself in bounds. And that was spectacular, but on the comeback route, maybe a little easier to deal with the sideline since you, you've got better vision of it? I think that's a great point because you should know exactly where you're going and know how much space you have and make sure you get your feet down. But yeah, coming back to the football, I like it. Good vision. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They run it here with Oliver. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The extra defensive back in the game here on third and goal. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there.
Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Now Rivers. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Novak's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded at the goal line. Wiggles free. A spin. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. This is Gillisley. Not much room to run. Just gets it to the 35 after showcasing his tough running. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Yeah, 
20. By 20. On first down, Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Brady to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blank in the field. Brady. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Time to the tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Second five. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down right about the 20. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Hey, 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 hey. They'll run it here. This is James White. And the athleticism on this spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So it'll be first down here after the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little gain. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. 
Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Ooh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And yeah, he's gonna be run over. Hit hard as he'll be marked down at the three-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're gonna get a timeout instead as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that time out to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He's made one and he's missed one thus far. This for the win. And yes, he got it. Goskowski plays the role of hero as he punches it through. And it'll be a good time in the back bay tonight. The Patriots have won the football game. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.